Welcome to In The Zone, the Washington DC Sports Show is bringing you all the latest in local sports news. We're broadcasting here from the Crystal City Sports Pub. I'm your host, James Flames, sitting here with the most unbiased sports analyst extraordinaire, Jason Herbeck. Good to be back. It's good, man. Yeah. You, you made it past another week. That's right, man. I know, man. Your, your, your fans are growing, man. Your fans are growing. Every day. Every day. Can't stop the momentum, Jason. <laughs> Can't stop the momentum. It's a wave. There you go. Well, today, we're going to be bringing you our midseason reports on the NFL. We're going to be covering the drama that is the Cowboys and the Minnesota Vikings. But we're going to start with our own in-home drama, the Washington Redskins. Jason. Yes, sir. It was all good just a week ago, man. <laughs> it was all good just a week ago. All what right, happened? Jay -Z. What happened? Uh, the coach uh, benched a seasoned veteran, two minutes left in a one possession game, a winnable game at that, puts in Rex Grossman out of all people, out of all people, says, then comes up with an excuse that Grossman knows a two minute offense better than McNabb. Even though McNabb's been in camp the whole time, he's been here the whole summer, but somehow Grossman knows that. Explain that to me. That's your squad. Explain to I me. I want to apologize to you right now, Jason, because I'm going to be venting, and I don't want to. Listen, you're Mike Shanahan to me right now, okay? So I'm going to apologize. Oh, I'm to not you. tan enough to be <laughs> Shanahan, dude. Come on. Cardiovascular? Yeah, cardio. Cardiovascular. The man played 58 minutes. The last two minutes, he's got cardiovascular issues? Yeah. And then before that, he's not smart enough to know the plays? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And he puts him for Sexy Rexy? Rex Grossman? Are you serious? Are there, you serious? There's no explanation for it, other than the fact that you just don't trust Donovan McNabb, and that's why you should have said that instead of coming up with some excuses that nobody is buying. Nobody has done more with less in his career than Donovan McNabb. I mean, the proof is right here in Washington, D.C. We're going to play a little game here, Jason. I, I prepared this just for games. you. I love games. I love games. I'm going to prepare this just for you, Jason. <laughs> just for Jason. All right. If you're Mike Shanahan, I hope you're paying attention to what I'm getting ready to say. Okay? <laughs> Who are the Washington Redskins weapons? Santana Moss? They, barely. Barely Santana Moss. Santana Moss is your number one receiver. Let, Coolly. Okay. Now, all right. Here we go, Jason. You ready for this game? Yeah, I'm ready. Let me know. Which one of these receivers, Santana Moss, is clearly better than? Okay, clearly better than. Andre Johnson, Terrell Owens, Chad Ochocinco, Brandon Marshall, Roy Williams, Miles Austin, Des Bryant, Calvin Johnson, Steve Smith, Larry Fitzgerald, Randy Moss, Percy Harvin, even let's cool some tight ends, Vernon Davis, Antonio Gates. Is he clearly better than any of those players? Nah, you could have keep you, going. I, I wasn't going to stop you, you. I mean, you know what my point is here. All those teams have worse records or the same records as Washington. So listen, all those weapons, and you're going to tell me. So quarterbacks and offenses with all those weapons, all those weapons, and they have worse record than the Redskins. But yet, it's McNabb's fault? Even better. Who's their top running back? Ryan Terrain. You ready for this game? Practice squad. Practice squad Ryan Terrain. Mm -hmm. Let's go down to running backs. Mm -hmm. Arian Foster, Maurice Jones-Drew, Marion Barber, Felix Jones, Adrian Peterson, Javid Best, Ronnie Brown. There you go. Miami's, whatever. Uh, Ricky Williams, yeah. And uh, Steven Jackson, uh, D'Angelo Williams, Frank Gore, CJ Spiller, Peyton Hills. Let's throw Peyton Hills in the mix. Yeah. Is Ryan Terrain better than any of those running backs? Pick. No. But yet, they still have a better record than all of those teams. Or the, or the same record. How is it McNabb's fault? It's not McNabb's fault at all. In fact, you put any other quarterback behind that line, they're going to be getting killed. McNabb, McNabb's elusiveness and his strength allows him to avoid sacks that other quarterbacks will be taking behind that line. Plus, as you mentioned, they have no skill position players. He's making everybody look good, just like he did in Philly up until they got Deshaun Jackson. Yeah. The one year he had was Stallworth in Philly. Stallworth, that was by far his best year in the NFL. If you're done having NAB, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I need to contact a real estate agent in Minnesota. He already has a house in Arizona. Might want to start looking at places in Minnesota to see what's up, because there is no chance he's coming back here next year. He, Shanahan and him, I think that relationship is broken. And I think it's 
not going to be able to be repaired. I've been in professional situations where you've done all the right things, said all the right things, been the model employee, but yet at the end of the day, it's still lack of respect. It's still lack of respect. And the first thing in your mind is, do, this, do these people really have my back? Not at all. If you're gonna if you're gonna make that substitution, you make it in a in a meaningless game in garbage time where one team is up by a lot. You don't do that in with two minutes to go in a winnable game, right before a bye week where the entire country is gonna be talking about it for two weeks. And then you come up with those weak excuses. I mean it's there is no chance he's coming back. He doesn't trust Shanahan or uh, um, Shanahan's son, the offensive coordinator. Do you think Shanahan's lost the locker room? <clears throat> I think it was fragile to begin with, just with the way the Hainsworth situation played out earlier in the year. Um, and then, you know, I think then some players would probably still take his side. But with this, I mean, this guy is a respected veteran. He's been in the league over a decade. Um, you know, the guys seem like they're, they want to win for him. Um, so, yeah, I think he's, I bet you he lost at least half the locker room with this move. We asked the question last time we were here, is Shanahan managing the Redskins well? And I said, probably not, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt. After the situation with Hainsworth, Portis, Thomas, and now McNabb, you can't say he's handling it well at all. I mean, by him going to that podium saying the cardiovascular, he's yeah. not that smart, it's almost like he, he's intentionally lying to us because he's trying to either cover up, maybe he's covering for his son. I don't know. It seems, I mean, it was almost like you can't handle the truth. I mean, it was, it, was, it was a you can't handle the truth. And I feel like the difference between Hainsworth and McNabb, I mean, besides Hainsworth is way less respected around the league than McNabb is, but Hainsworth was here from the previous regime. Shanahan brought McNabb here on his own. That was by choice. That's, that was the quarterback that he handpicked to lead this team this year. And we're halfway through the season, and he's pulling him from a winnable game. I, you can't handle the truth. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, okay, Jason. You know what this is like? I want to know, James wants to know, who ordered the cold red? <laughs> who ordered the McNabb cold red? That's what I want to know. I mean, it, was, it, was it Shanahan? Was it Shanahan's son? Was it Snyder? I don't think so. No, was it was the quarterback coach? Not, I don't think so. Was it Sex, Sexy Rexy? I don't think so. I want to know, who ordered the cold red? Who ordered the cold red? 240 688 <laughs> Not giving you the rest of my phone numbers. I don't want no. <laughs> too many fans call. calling yeah, it. Yeah, too many fans. They got groupies now. I want to know who ordered the code red. Maybe by the end of the show, we'll find out who ordered it. I want to know. Shanahan definitely did. Shanahan ordered the code red. Yeah. That's him, man. That's, that is all on him. Can the Redskins bounce back from this fiasco? No chance. No, no, no. They, uh, I think the only slim chance you have is if McNabb plays well and the Redskins win against Philly on Monday night. If Even if they win by a very small amount and McNabb plays poorly or they lose, it's done. It's done because then you're going to, all these questions are going to just keep coming up every single week. Should Grossman be in there? Does Shanahan make the right move? And that's going to be questions that are going to come out for the rest of the season. Yes or no? Can they make the playoffs? No, 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 no. It best, look, best case I got them, that's if they beat Philly, okay? Mm -hmm. I got them going 8-8, eight and eight, which they're not going to beat Philly because mm -hmm. unless they knock uh, Vic out again, yeah. that's the only chance they got. But actually, Kyle played well after he yeah. got, after he shook off that rust from the yeah. first game. And I, I got them finishing 7-9, and nine, not, miss, not making the playoffs. I don't what know, about Jason, you? you? You were on the record. I'm, on, I'm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'll give you my answer when we come back because I'm going to find out who got the bottom of this cold red. I'm going to tell you if I still think they can make the playoffs. And at the end of the day, maybe Albert Hainsworth was right. I don't know. It's starting to look that way. It's starting to look that way. Sorry. We're going to be depressed the whole show, people. Keep it locked right here. You're watching In The Zone, live at the Crystal City Sports Club. The cold red? I want to know. Shanahan, dude. Hey, That's brother. definitely Shanahan. This is ridiculous. I can't take it. I can't take it. I think the McNabb situation is horrific. You should never bench a franchise starter, okay? And then um, interview or drop off J.C. Lawson and all these other quarterbacks that don't even compare to McNabb. I think it's a travesty, and the coach should be fired. Thank you very much.